Grayson, come on, let's go get jammies on. Mm -hmm. Can you say hi? Hi. If you can't hear, Porter is having a meltdown. He's in the garage where I left him because he's having a meltdown. He was trying to ride this bike and it's very hard to turn. I should really just pitch it. <laughs> um, and he was getting frustrated with him and so <laughs> he's having a little time out in the garage. Let's go see if he's, if he's happy now. Do you feel better? Yeah. Okay, let's go upstairs. Come on. You okay? Okay. Okay, we're just tired, huh? Right, go on nine. Let's go upstairs. You want me to hold you? Yeah. Okay. So this guy was a little sad. <laughs> it's been a day, you guys. As you can tell, it's the end of the day. Anthony's. Anthony's out with friends, so I'm with the boys alone. It's past seven, so it's bedtime. Bedtime. So we're going to go to bed. And your bed too. Come on. It's been a rough day. I don't know that I've had this bad of a day in a long time. It just feels like everything's been going wrong today. Let's get your jammies. You want to go to Great Grace Room? Yeah. So it starts off with, well, we haven't sold the house yet. We dropped the price a second time. I don't know if I've said that or not on the vlog, but sorry, I'm like trying to turn on lights. We dropped the price a second time. It's still on the market. We haven't sold the house. And so we had a showing this morning at like 9.45. And so my mom still lives like five minutes from our old house. Meanwhile, we live like 15 minutes from our old house. So when it's like last minute showings or like very early morning showings, like I see if she can do it and usually she can. Okay, I put Porter down because I'm getting him water. Um, so anyway, my mom, we had a showing at 945 this morning. So I asked my mom if she would go turn on the lights and she said yes. So she went this morning and I got a call at like... 8.45, so like an hour before the showing was supposed to happen. And she was like, um, I can't get into your house. So we had a million keys to our house, but one is in the lockbox and all the other ones my siblings have lost. My sister Kelly has lost two of them. Um, my sister Allison had one, but she gave one to Kelly and Kelly lost hers. Philip lost our key, my brother. So we are down to, Anthony has a key, I have a garage door opener, and my mom has a garage door opener. And our house is lame and doesn't have like a keypad thing, so you have to have either a key or a garage door opener to get in the house. Well, my mom just has a garage door opener, which has never been a problem in the past because our garage door is always unlocked. Well, apparently the showing the previous day went and locked the garage door for us being nice which is nice but like not nice and anthony went to go turn off the lights last night but he had a key so he didn't go through the garage so he didn't think to check the garage door to see if it was locked so basically my mom called me and said uh i can't get into your house i was in my jammies the boys were just like chilling so i had to run put a show on for the boys thankfully anthony was working from home so he watched the boys i um went and got dressed raced to the house like didn't brush my teeth or anything raced to the house still got there like 45 minutes early was able to turn on the lights and all was fine but that was just a hectic morning then um we've been dealing with this craziness of like our realtor thinks we should like get quotes for our house to see like repairing things so like the roof and the windows and um the pavement and i don't know she just wants us to get quotes so we did and of course the roofer guy is like oh i think you can get your insurance to pay for it so it's been all day of like us talking to him us filing a claim with our insurance I don't even think it's going to be worth it because our deductible is like almost $4,000 and we are not paying that. So that's been annoying. And then I sliced my finger. I have a Band-Aid on it now, but I sliced it. Lay down, Porter. 
I sliced my finger. Um, I was cutting sun-dried tomatoes and just missed and cut my finger. Oh, it hurts so bad. So yeah, it hurts really bad. It was bleeding pretty bad, but the bleeding has stopped and I got a band-aid around it now, but that was not helpful. I just feel like it's been a lot. On top of all that, I haven't been feeling well, so that doesn't help either. I haven't really got a break because I had a work meeting and then I had to go pick up Gray's soccer uniform because his first game is on Saturday and Gray, your undies are backwards, honey. And his uniform is the exact same as last year. So I'm like, why did I pay for a new uniform when I could have just used the one that we already had, but they didn't give us an option like, oh, well, I'll just forgo the uniform and use the one I already have. Like, no, they're like, you have to pay for it. I feel like there's been more things too. Oh, yes. the One of the bigger things, other than me slicing my finger, is my sister Kelly came over because we have one of my parents' cars here. We've been using it to move things back and forth from the old house to the new house. She came over to borrow it because she's going to do some remodeling on her house and needed a big car to like load everything in. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. You can come over. We're going to leave because Gray has swim today. And I was like, you can come, but like we have to swim at four, so um, you're, we're going to leave soon. So she came over, she came over later than she wanted to because she went to our old house instead of our new house. So I think she was like flabbergasted by that. And then she came like right before we were going to go. Okay, brush your teeth. And I was like, that's fine. Here's the car. And she took the keys and left. And I was like, okay, fine. And then like five minutes later, we had to go. And she knew we had to go to swim, and we talked about it, whatever. Get out to the driveway, and she parked behind my car, <laughs> blocking me in my driveway that I cannot get out. So, of course, I'm in a panic because we were about to leave with just enough time to get there. Now we're going to be late. Um, I call her up. She's 10 minutes away. She's on the highway, so she had to turn around, come back. As we're waiting, I'm, like, trying to maneuver like, our driveway isn't super big, and Anthony's on one part, and I'm on the other part. So I'm, like, trying to, like, maneuver, to like, into the grass to back up, to get out into the street. But it ends up not being good. And then I left tire tracks in our grass, which I'm sure looks horrible. Yeah, basically, we just had to sit there for 10 minutes until she got there. And then I sped to... Well, I didn't really speed because there was traffic everywhere, and I swear we hit every red light. And got to swim like 10 minutes late. Mind you, this is a 30-minute class. So we got there like 10 minutes late, rushed in, got gray with his bathing suit on, his goggles and whatever. He goes, he gets in the pool, and then realizes he has to pee. So he gets out of the pool, he goes all the way around, we have to go in the bathroom, have him pee, and then he has to go out. So we basically missed like half or over half of his 30 minute class. So it was pretty pointless going today, but I, I had to go, I paid for the class. So that was not great. So, I mean, it's, it's her, it was her fault, but like she didn't do it maliciously. She just wasn't thinking people make mistakes. Like I get it. We got floss your teeth. So yeah, it was just, it's been a day you guys. And Anthony's, like I said, he's out to go hang out with his friends. So I can't vent to him. So I'm venting to you guys. Whether you like it or not, I guess if you don't like it, you could always exit out of this vlog. But if you're still here, then you have compassion for me. So just not, not that great of a day, but the kids are going to bed. So I'm going to get me time and big brother's on tonight. So I'm very excited about yeah. that. Yeah. Are you guys brush, brush it? Show, show the vlog how you brush your teeth. Can you show me? Show me how you brush. Oh, good job. Here, show that Porter show how he brushes his teeth. Show me how you brush your teeth. Oh, good job, you guys. And then with Grayson, we have to floss. I've just been using these. They're like Kroger brand. Oh, I don't know why it's so fuzzy. Anyway, we need a floss because Gray gets cavities apparently in between his teeth. And so we have to floss. I never thought I'd have to floss a four-year-old, but here I am. So it's been a day, you guys. It's been a day. So hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Hopefully 
I would say like hopefully my day turns around, but it's like 7.30 at night. So I don't really know how it's gonna turn around. Also, I guess the day isn't over because one of us, either Anthony or I, has to go and turn off the lights in our house because we had another showing this evening. So I would go, but I'm the only one at the house. Sorry, I'm flossing. And um, so I can't really leave. And Anthony's at his friend's house, so I don't know if he'll go or if I'll have to wait till he gets back. He shouldn't even get back till like 11, though. <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm really bummed just about how today was, but we're gonna read a book and we're gonna go to bed. All right, let's go pick a book. Let's go pick a book. Go ahead. This is our makeshift bookcase for now because I have not built the bookshelf. I need to get to that. Grayson's usually our picker of the book every night. And we're gonna do Christmas. You wanna do Christmas? Okay, Christmas in August. You've had enough. Okay, come on, let's go read it. So can find Christmas. I guess we're gonna read Christmas tonight. I bet you're all so jealous. If I think of anything else, I'll, I'll pull out the vlogging camera. But as of now, I think I'm just gonna make this a rant vlog and that be the end of it. Still have not found my uh, camera chip. Hopefully I find it soon.